Hi, I'm Dan with Family Light TV, and I have a problem. My Logitech G600 has developed a double click. Now, I have been using X mouse control to debounce it, but it's just uh, getting annoying, so I decided to do something about it. So, I got these replacement mouse buttons off Amazon, and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and replace these inside the G600. Okay, so tools we will need is a Phillips screwdriver and a sword of exact zero. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Now I've already taken the skates off. You can buy new skates off of Amazon. They're about, I think, six or seven, maybe eight dollars, uh, but I didn't do that. All right, so normally you'd use a super fine Phillips. I don't have that, so I have this fine straight that does get these screws out just fine. Are. It's apart. Now we just need to pull this back, let that ribbon cable out, or actually I just kind of pulled it out. Let's see. Oh, I see it folds up. That's how that's done correctly. And here's our switches. Now I will go ahead and get this out of the way. It just kind of snaps in there. There we go. And for this core you want to pull this up by the body, not by the wires itself, otherwise you can pull the wires right out. Then there's a couple tabs up here. And that just lifts right out. Now at this point you could desolder these and I was gonna do that by a side, you know, not many people have a soldering station and uh, even less people uh, know how to use a soldering station well, especially when it comes to desoldering and resoldering small stuff like this. So I will show you how to go ahead and do this without having to solder. Now here's the part numbers on these. You will see that there's they are the same except for the one that's actually on there it has a 20M. That's supposed to denote that it's good for 20 million clicks. So to get this off, you want to be very gentle because you don't want to slice your whole finger off. So you just got to get under each leg here and just pry it up and it will come off exposing the inside of the switch. Now the failure mode here is that uh, these just get worn out. This one I've actually modified to make it a quiet click. I don't need the quiet click anymore though. So I'll just take that right out and we're just going to rebuild it by uh, just replacing the spring. Now what we also now what I also will do is go ahead and clean the contacts with a little bit of alcohol. Now what I'm going to use is some rubbing alcohol. I'm using 70%. Ideally you want the 90% tech stuff, but uh, this will just have to be good enough because this is what I have. So we'll just get in there and make sure that, that contact gets nice and cleaned off. Now ideally I would be replacing the whole button because these contact points can wear down, they can get dirty and tarnished, or they can even get worn to the point where that could be why they're not working well anymore. So ideally, if you do have the skill and the equipment, you would want to just go ahead and desolder these switches and solder new ones on. And it needs to be like right up on the top there. You can kind of see what's going on there. work. All right, that one feels really good. Now we just have to put it back together. Oh, and as a little quick tip here, if the mouse feels 
too heavy for you. There's these two lead weights in here. I don't know if they're lead or not, but there's these two weights in here. You can take them out if you want to. I might do that just to see how, how it makes the mouse feel, if it's uh, if the lighter feels better. In, and then you just latch it down like that. And then find your screws. So they both sound like they work. Now I guess I just have to go and play some video games, see if it'll work. So there you have it, the Logitech G600 mouse repair. So here's some other videos on my channel that you might be interested in, home theater stuff, general electronic geeky stuff, and some random stuff that YouTube might think that you're interested in. So if you like the video, please go ahead and like it. If you haven't clicked away yet, uh, if you really like it, subscribe. And uh, yeah, most of you have probably clicked away because you've seen the videos about like two seconds from being over at this point.